This is a video review of the Digital Reigns Nano PC. It's a mini PC running Windows 8.1. This is the box right here. It says Windows box. It has an Intel Atom processor. So we can focus here. It's uh, very small and compact, definitely portable and light. We'll take a look at the ports here. I'll let my camera take a second to focus here. Okay, so we have two regular USB ports, a micro USB port, which is for charging the device, uh, a mini HDMI port, uh, an SD slot. Let this focus here. Sorry about that. We have a micro SD port here uh, for plugging in a micro SD card for expanding the storage on this device. There's also a headphone jack and the on-off button. Also included is a micro USB to USB cable with a wall adapter for charging the uh, mini PC. And then we also have a mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable, uh, and this would be for plugging into the TV. Uh, so now we'll get into how this looks uh, when it's plugged into the TV. Uh, during use, so I'll go ahead and hook this up. Okay, so now I've connected uh, the Windows box to my TV here, and it's running a full featured Windows 8.1 as you can see. And it's uh, very snappy and easy to use, it's very quick. Um, and that's partly due to the solid state drive that's uh, the storage module for this computer. Um, it's a 32 gigabyte solid state drive with 25 gigs of usable space. Uh, and you can expand this with a micro SD card to store more files. And of course there are um, USB ports for connecting flash drives. Uh, so for me, uh, I've been using this computer for um, entertainment mostly. Um, it, it's definitely great to have a computer in the living room connected to the TV and one that's so small. Um, and I I think it's it's great for those uses and for those uses there's not really a need for a lot of storage space uh, you know you can hook up flash drives you can hook up hard drives to this so that you can uh, play movies TV shows um, but what I just wanted to show you was uh, how a trailer off YouTube looks to give you an idea of how this um, kind of performs um, with movies and TV shows so we'll go ahead and play this uh, Avengers trailer uh, to give you an idea. Okay, so that was just a trailer that hopefully uh, showed you how this works. Um, the only comments I have to say about uh, this are really that when you initially uh, start this up, uh, you will have to connect a, um, a mouse and keyboard to this, a USB mouse and keyboard, in, over, in order to navigate. Uh, I suggest connecting those before you turn on the computer, because uh, I had a few issues with using a mouse and keyboard which hadn't been used before with this before turning it on. But when I plugged it in before turning it on, it was perfectly fine. Um, this does run on, on battery if you need it to. Uh, right now I have it running on, on battery. Um, and I've been getting about three to five hours depending on my usage. Um, and the digital range rates this as three hours. So overall, this is a great little computer. Uh, I highly recommend it um, if you're looking for something for home entertainment for your TV or simply to just have a computer connected to your TV for other uses like web browsing. Uh, thanks for watching.